it's time for us to talk about our world schemes and of course what we talk about our world's people who have done so well ought to be celebrated and be awarded to encourage others to follow suit and so this particular conversation is to urge you or encourage you to do what others are doing so you'll be recognized as well it's time for us to talk about the head of state awards my guests are seated i have with me mr peter akai enum who is the executive director of the head of state award scheme good morning how are you good morning it's good to have you here it's good to be here beautiful studios yeah you uh, love it eh? yeah, yeah i mean <laughs> the, the last time we had a conversation was in the other studio right and i got there and i said no we are going to the other studio i said okay <laughs> And it looks very beautiful. Thank you so very much. Beautiful. Thank you. And also, I have a gold award recipient. She's right here. She'll definitely share experience with us. I'm talking about Abna Edunyinaku Oposua. How are you, Abna? I'm great. Great. You received a gold award. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm receiving it this evening. Oh, this evening. Oh, you're not I... receiving it? Yeah. This... I thought you had already received Oh, my no, goodness. No, no, no. <laughs> All right. So let me ask about, uh, you know, the head of state awards. Of course, you told me it's been here since the 1960s. So it's been a long time coming. Uh, tell us a bit about it. Okay, so a very good morning to uh, Cherry's viewers and uh, uh, everyone out there. Um, the head of state awards scheme had been in existence since 1967 uh, in Ghana. And globally, it's been around as the Duke of Edinburgh Award uh, since 1957. Mm. Uh, the Duke of Edinburgh Award, the global brand of the award scheme, was uh, founded by Israel Hannes, Prince Philip of blessed memory. Uh, growing up, he realized that young people within the formative years of 14 years to 24 years uh, face a lot of challenges. And if not well mentored, coached, supervised, guided, uh, they may plug into you know, decisions in their adult life that they would later on regret. Uh, but there are also so much energy and uh, talent among young people that needs to be you know, um, exploited and to be able to develop, uh, discover it. You know, for, so that young people will be able to be responsible adults. And so he designed, together with uh, two other colleagues of his, one was a German educationist, and then the other was the leader of the team that first uh, uh, climbed Mount in Everest. They put together beautiful uh, extracurricular activities to complement classroom learning, mm. to challenge young people in the belief that learning goes beyond what the world of the classroom. Mm -hmm. We all know that uh, school is great, but there are some Big lessons in life that we pick them outside classroom. Mm -hmm. Remember the last time you're going somewhere, you didn't know the place, and you have to find your way around, asking yeah. people mm -hmm. all around and all that. You know, those are things that life, you know, teaches us. And until we give young people the opportunity to discover, to experience, to, to be exposed, they are never able to create better versions of them, themselves. Mm -hmm. Young people will end up having the good grades, but they would lack the you know skills of communication. The so this, this is more for too. young. So people. it's more for young people okay. between fourteen years to twenty four years. Okay. And that has been how it's all started, and it's been running in one thirty countries globally, including Ghana. Fantastic. We're so what should people. you have achieved to be able? to qualify for this award? So, uh, first of all, you must be a young person between that age. That's a, it doesn't matter whether you are from a public school or you are from a community youth group from the church or an international school. Okay. You must be a young person and be ready to challenge yourself with the specified activities over the period of time. Mm -hmm. Second, uh, before you can achieve any of your award, there are three award levels, bronze, silver, and gold. Okay. Gold is the highest, bronze is the minimal, the bronze takes a period of six months mm. to complete. The silver takes a period of six to 12 months, and then the gold, 12 to 18 months okay. of activities. Now, the requirements in achieving any of the award are very simple. We say that at your free time, at your leisure time hours, take time off and learn the skill, oh, which right. can be entrepreneurial. Okay. You can choose your skill, and we guide and mentor you through it. Second, volunteer your time mm. to humanity. So it's about giving back. It's about voluntarism. Now we are losing that precious value. Everybody's asking what is in it for me. Okay, but that is very, very important. Okay? It's one of the days where we have uh, communal labors mm -hmm. uh, within our communities. Nobody asks us. Now, everybody's looking up to government. Yep. To come and clean the gutter in front of their, uh, we are lunch operation, mm -hmm. the clean your front mm -hmm. and all that. We are losing that precious value. So young people are required to volunteer their time to their community. It doesn't matter where. 
As long as they are committed to volunteering mm -hmm. and they meet the minimum requirement, they qualify. And then we have the third requirement called the fiscal recreation. The fiscal recreation is about sports. It's about healthy lifestyle. It's about engaging in fiscal activities uh, to promote healthy lifestyle among right. people. And then the last, uh, but not the least, uh, requirement is the adventurous journey. The adventurous journey is where young people are trained. After a series of training, they embark on a journey. And the um, and journey is on, uh, it can be hiking, it can be cycling, it can be canoeing, it can be kayaking, it can be horse riding. Okay. But we do most of the uh, adventures by hiking, where they, uh, they embark on a 24 kilometer journey. Within two days, they spend one night in a bush. Oh, wow. Uh, in a team. <laughs> Right, uh, and, 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 and that is the bronze. The silver, they do 48 kilometers minimum on foot, and then they spend uh, within three days and then two nights in a bush. Wow. And then the gold is 80 kilometers minimum mm. uh, of journey, uh, four days, and they spend three nights in the bush. It teaches young people teamwork, okay. survival, perseverance, leadership, decision making. And even how to empathize with other people. Other people. Yeah. Let me bring Abunai to the conversation. You are receiving an award. Yes. And a gold award. Yeah. So what did you do to get a gold award? For well, my gold award, I went through the usual skills development. I learned a skill in tailoring. And then for physical education, I did basketball, which was very funny in okay. school. And then um, I went through the... Ad Venture's journey in Konongu Dumasi mm -hmm. was a hectic walk, uh, but eventually we got there. We spent three nights in Itunsu, in a village called Itunsu in okay. Konongu Dumasi. And um, I, I would say one, that was one of the most hectic parts <laughs> of the award for me, because during that time it was, I was a bit unsteady. And then I was able to get through it with teamwork because I was working with a, a wide range of people. We were about 10 in a group. Okay. And we had so much fun working together as a team, cooking together, interacting with um, people, inhabitants in the village. And they share their experiences. I mean, as you get there, people start talking to you about life and then you, you get a chance to encourage them to move on. Like mm -hmm. young people like us, you see young people like us, um, children, I, I'd say children, because they are way below my age and they, they don't see hope. But then you get there and they see you and they say, I want to be like, like you. you. Yes. So you inspire people out yes. there. Yes. Fantastic. Now, uh, how many uh, recipients are we having this year? So this year we're having 281 uh, oh, wow. young uh, champs who have gone through uh, 12 to 18 months of hmm. training uh, through the program. Um, you know, they are receiving the gold award uh, from His Excellency the President uh, at the Jubilee House this evening at 5 p.m. Uh, you know, uh, many at times we don't uh, recognize and celebrate, uh, you know, uh, extracurricular activities. Yeah. But it's a very, very important aspect of development. Mm -hmm. uh, we all want our kids to get the, uh, the first class, the, you know, the, the good grades and all that. But neglecting those little, little things that teaches them about life. Yeah. Um, look at the story of, uh, you know, uh, the lady here. She's talking about empathy. It's about having to know that, okay, I also inspire some group of children. Yeah. And so if they are looking up to me, then it means that I, henceforth, I need to live as, uh, you know, um, uh, as a mentor mm -hmm. or something. Okay. Uh, and so just imagine um, 30 Ten percent of our Ghanaian youth population, you yeah. know, uh, having that kind of a mindset, this kind of experience, then we can reduce unemployment. That's so true. What's the theme for this year? It's nurturing uh, leaders uh, in, in a stri uh, striving future. Mm. You know, and why uh, this theme though? Because the award it is about leadership. The award is about mentoring. It's about coaching. It's about getting young people to realize that there's more in them yeah. than 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 they can think. Okay. Uh, and, and giving an opportunity to lead and, and, and support each other in that fun, exciting, out of classroom mm -hmm. activity. And again, being recognized and celebrated. You know, who goes to work in the bush for uh, four days and uh, goes to the president and receives, <laughs> and receives a gold award? No, well, I mean, yeah. you know, it's, so, <laughs> so, so, so giving recognition to some of these little, little at the highest level is motivating. That's so true. Yeah, it's that's, motivating. That's so true. Yeah. So we have over 200 recipients. 
And uh, this is beautiful, I must say. It's so encouraging. And I'm wondering how, you know, a young person out there can apply to qualify, uh, you know, for this award scheme one day. Well, as long as the young person is a young person. <laughs> so how do they apply? So, yeah, they just, uh, you know, uh, uh, you must be part of an award centre. So we run the programme okay. uh, at centres. So award centre is any identified organisation where there are young people. Okay, so you and just so, go and you So register. like schools, like churches, like community youth groups, those can apply to be a licensed holder. Okay. Then they would now deliver the program together with us to the young people. Mm -hmm. there because it is not a one-day event. It is a whole journey. And so there must be adult leaders who would work along with the young people. So that is how it happens. Nevertheless, if you are not within any of these groups, mm -hmm. we have what we call the Virtual Award Center. When you go to our social media handle, you send us a message, a message, we identify the location where you are, and then we can attack you to an award center. Oh, okay. Then you can have a mentor, mm -hmm. an award leader, a volunteer who would guide you through your award journey. Are there any special categories? Uh, oh, yes. Time? Yes, okay. yes. We are giving the um, OSA Special Honors. Uh, we have four, uh, five categories of that. We have the um, adult leaders, which will be given to coordinators, volunteers, and... Uh, as award centers that are doing okay. very well. Mm -hmm. We also have the, uh, uh, the uh, corporate award uh, in the areas of CSR and community impact. Uh, we also have the life and legacy uh, you know, award given to women who have uh, made a lot of impact and strife when we talk about gender and uh, girls' empowerment. We also have the life icons. Okay. Right? The life icons are... Uh, individuals who have been very successful in their businesses and out of that they've given opportunities to many young people or many youth all right uh, uh, through employment uh, through their mentoring and in fact they have been legendary mm -hmm. so we want to celebrate them and I must say that um, on that I think one person from this uh, uh, multimedia uh, is going to be celebrated oh wow uh, you know, um, um, let me let me break the camera. Okay. Because Chum has... Oh, has, fantastic. Has, Our very own. Uh, you're very own. You, know, <laughs> uh, you agree with me that he's been uh, fantastic. Yeah. He's been legendary. Uh, look at what he's been able to, yeah. to, to create. Uh, look at the number of people uh, who has, uh, you he know, employed. employed you know, true. and there's sort of um, uh, uh, charitable things he does mm -hmm. on the side. And so... This evening, we're going to honor and celebrate him as a legend. Wow, that's great. Legend. Woo! <laughs> Our very own. Okay, so tonight, it's happening this evening? It's happening this evening. Where? At the Jubilee House. Okay. Uh, it's Excellency the President, who is the chief patron of the award scheme. Okay. Uh, graciously, once again. Uh, and he's been doing that since, you know, um, he got into office. Right. Contis consistently for every year, hosting mm -hmm. a chunk of young people at the Jubilee House. And... Uh, uh, this evening, uh, 600, you know, guests are going to the Jubilee House. Is it strictly by invite? It's strictly by invitation. Fantastic. Okay. So it's this evening and it's strictly by invite. I will be supporting our very own. Thank you so much for being here. Super grateful. Hi. How do you feel about it? I oh. feel great. Awesome. Well, <laughs> she's not an award holder yet. She's, she's now a, a, a recipient. Okay. If nothing happens. Nothing will happen. <laughs> <laughs> If nothing happens, nothing, nothing will should happen. happen. At 5 p.m. <laughs> nothing will happen. Comes, nothing will happen. Then we can celebrate. Well, you I'm, I'm celebrating here already. Ah. Really. You are speaking into the future. Mm. Thank you so much for being it's here. Tonight is just happening. So make sure. Uh, I don't know. Are we televising? Uh, yes, it's going to be live on on, uh, on social media. Okay, great. Uh, so you can go on social media Head and watch Awards, it. Yeah. Head of State Awards. All right, on that note, thank you so much for being here. We have What's Trending coming up next. My name is Rosalind Feli. Esiedua will lead the conversation with regards to What's Trending. Do stay.